Alright. <clears throat> Brett's here from the Striper Vault. But Jamie Rowe from Guardian. Not from the Striper Vault. Not from the Striper Vault, <laughs> but the. Uh, but has been there. Has been to the Striper Vault. And has seen the cutest baby in the world. Yes, sir. Justin David. Mm. Not proud of this at all. <laughs> I'm sorry, there's one in February that I edge it out. I could be wrong. It's <laughs> the last name of Rowe. Yes, sir. Alrighty. New album, Swing Swang Swamp. Should have been called Feel, Feel, and Felt. It's got a lot of feeling in it. Tell us a little bit about uh, some of the songs. Well, all these songs back here are ours. And <laughs> actually, they're not. Preacher and a Bear is someone else's, but we made it ours. Did you make but, a video uh, for that? Not yet. We did it, what we did was CCMTV did a, a little acoustic unplugged type thing earlier this spring, and they're starting to air things. But uh, for the most part, yeah, so we haven't made any videos yet. As of right now, we're scheduled to make one for Way Home Back, and uh, we're still in the, up in the air about that right now. We don't we don't know and stuff. It's kind of Inel Summers right now is the current single, and I'd actually rather do one for that than Way Home Back right now because you know I just I think it, it lends itself more to video. But uh, it's kind of going to be a drag to a video two months after the record's been out, you know, when the single's out. So I don't know. But uh, let's get back to the record. We got Way Home Back, which is just a kind of a Zeppelin-esque kind of stomp thing. Inel Summers is kind of in excess meets Guardian. And, Kind of put in a blender somewhere along the way. Uh, Come on, everyone is rather Beatlesque influenced. Like the sun sounds like a, just a good '70s pop song. You know, to tell you the truth, I mean, in a sense, not in the synthesized '80s '80s way at all. And uh, Rich Man Over the Line, another Beatle influenced song. Tony Palacios makes his vocal, lead vocal debut on that one. Your Love was, was nice. That was the song I wrote. That actually has a 40-piece uh, uh, orchestra in there, which was nice. I think it was 40. I don't know, maybe. We'll say 40 just for that. <laughs> uh, Don't Say It's Over is a David Bach slash Rolling Stones kind of song. It just talks about relationship and uh, just, you know, real life about male and female relationships. And uh, See You in Heaven, of course, is, uh, Tony wrote that. He's missing his mom one day. And he wrote that song about just how he's dealing with that and knowing that she's in heaven. And uh, there's still pain sometimes when he, he holds on to that promise. Let the Whole World is the first praise song Guardian's ever done, really, and uh, I think a nice vocal. So, <laughs> uh, Preacher and a Bear, I said that earlier, it's an old swing song that uh, Dave's dad used to play for him when he was real little, and he was like that. We have a little uh, horn section on there we got directly from Opryland, so they're semi-authentic. So. Still in my mind is uh, another kind of 70s pop song, wouldn't you say? It's, uh, a little bit there. That was actually one of the first songs that we cut for the record, and uh, one of the first ones to make the record was that one. And why don't we is Carl, Carl Nay feeling rather psychedelic, I suppose. And like it's cool. You know, that song reminds me of a Bruce and Hall delight. Yeah, but nevertheless fun. It's a cool song. That's that. Now this that's album, swing, swing, swung in a nutshell by me. So. This album was originally called Wire and Wood. Is it changed? Um, because I was outvoted. That's why it changed. <laughs> no. Actually, you know what? We sit in there wiring wood. I mean, that was that defines an acoustic record. You think, okay, acoustic. Um, you know, as you can tell after listening to the record, we didn't stick to a solely, truly acoustic method. You know, we, we just distorted. I mean, there's no acoustic at all in Bill said It's over. We mixed it out after the fact. So it's like, you know, this is really kind of like this. It takes on so many different directions and stuff. We're thinking, you know, it's like swing, swing, swung. Dave thought of that or something like that. I forget why. But uh, we started thinking, you know, it's probably more appropriate because Wine Wood almost sounds serious. Like, here's an acoustic project, and this sounds like, what? You know, so and that's more of the record to me. Yeah. Right now, you're touring with Steve Taylor. Mm -hmm. How's it going? It's going good, really good. We, uh, <clears throat> it's the first time in uh, the history of Guardian we've ever done nine shows in a row, which that's coming up next week, so I'm looking forward to that. First time you headline, too. Or, uh, yeah, uh, headline. Uh, yeah, well, you know, we've we done, so we done two weeks last year with DC Talk on the West Coast, so that was interesting, but it was nothing like this where it was like a, a tour, a full 30 city tour and everything, so it's actually, it actually has its ups and downs, I mean, it's obviously, I mean, we like playing longer, you know, there's only certain songs we can play within 45 minutes, and, uh, but the fact is, there's one thing I do like, is the fact that we can go out after the show, after it's all said and done, we can get a shower during Steve's set, so we don't be offending people and everything, so, I don't know, we're, feel, we're feeling, you can build us as the clean and fresh guardian. No, but it's cool. This is uh, time. this is one of the times. Yeah, <laughs> this is 
really think is really cool about this is we're meeting more and more people who say that, you know, I've heard of Guardian, but I've never, you know, they wouldn't have come come to see us if it wasn't for Steve Taylor, and uh, and we're win we're winning people over, which is, I mean, that's what you kind of hope to accomplish on the touring as far as the business level of touring, and uh, I think it's nice too because we obviously were bringing people in that never heard of Steve Taylor. I think he's still doing a synthesized, you know, you know, new wave thing, which he's not. He's very alternative. You know, like that, so. It's a compl it's a complimenting bill, I think. And Hocus Picks nuts, you know, I mean in the most in the most pleasant way you can imagine. So plans for a home video. <coughs> mm. We were supposed to do one that was supposed to be released at the same time, but we have some footage that uh, we recorded in the studio, but I don't know what's gonna come of that. I mean I'm I'm pretty much certain within the next year depending on the record, record how many flavor and stuff, how, what they decide, basically, we're, we're going to have a full-fledged home video. It should be a way better quality than Streets of Fire because we'll actually put money into this one. You know, so Streets of Fire did good. <coughs> Streets of Fire was good, but what was cool about that is we basically made something from nothing. We didn't have a budget. We threw together some clips we had. You know, a lot of people in interview footage on the, on the set, but, you know, a lot of people wanted Guardian home video, and we just, you know, at the time, you know, we were still a band. People weren't sure about Guardian, so they didn't want to invest, like, money into us, you know, to for a full-scale, like, you know, $80,000 video. DC stuff video. Yeah, I get DC this, which is remarkable. Mm -hmm. And I, I hope that someday we can do something like that. But uh, working town, we've been lucky with the videos and the MTV thing. We've been lucky, you know, just we've always had decent directors and stuff. We've always take, took something and just made it work. And this time around, it looks like there may be a budget in there. Yeah, so yeah, hopefully we're we'll picked you up. Yep. We are there in the wall. Basically, Packaderm Records, I mean, Word, Word owns, owned the controlling share of Packaderm, and they just decided as guys, John, Dino, it's cool you have a record company, but you basically, production is your forte. Let us do, let us do the records. So they took the bands that they thought could survive, which it was, it was a drag, because I think some good bands got left, left behind. But, uh, which doesn't mean they're bad bands, it just means that Word just wasn't interested in marketing them at that time, so maybe they'll be picked up. But they took us and Greg Long. Off That's kind of a, a reach for them, Mer being. I mean, the Grants label going with uh, the so-called <coughs> rock yeah. group, that's what well, you still got. It was, yeah, what's cool, though, is like we actually we jumped in. We, we like all the people in Murray. We've actually become a priority with them because we, coming in just as a new band to them, you know, we, we already sell more units than most of their artists. So, we, you know, we jumped into priority status, you know. So we, we were always the flagship band for Packner, and that was nice. I, mean, I, had, I had no bitter feelings about Packner whatsoever, about that whole thing. You know, I went through a funny time. I don't have, I don't have any bitter feelings, but uh, and with with Murr, it's like <clears throat> it's kind of like going from high school to college to an extent, you know. Mm -hmm. It's kind of nice. maybe the budget. Yeah, yeah. Good yeah. you know, you know what? The th funny thing happens. So you know, this record might sell twenty copies. You know, we might figure out. You know, you never know. You know, you don't know if it was like the timing thing or if it was marketing. Yeah, you bought it. But uh, no, we're looking forward to the Murr thing. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Favorite song in one. Any album? Overall, Never Say Goodbye, because that was the song that I, you know I got in the band with, and uh, there's a few tweaks here and there, but that was big. that was the song that got me in. And just you know, every concert, I was like, Never Say Goodbye. Somebody's yelling, you know, or uh, Take Up Your Cross. Take Up Your Cross. People, yeah. I don't think people understand <coughs> why you don't you choose not to, to play that one live. Well, take it, actually, it's really it's really hard to sing for me to tell you the truth, and. Uh, it's just, it's not so much that it's really high, but at the times when it's high, it's, it's hard to, uh, it's like it's like singing a, a full page in a magazine. It's like one big long sentence, you know, and stuff. So we're going to work on some stuff. I mean, a lot of, you know, do some tuning changes whatsoever, you know, whatsoever works and stuff. So we're going to eventually add that to the set. Uh, between you and Don't Print This, I don't like it at all. I think it's ridiculous. I hate it. I hate it more than anything. Which one? Take it to cross. I think it's the well, I knew you didn't like it. I despise it. So, so don't print that at all. <laughs> I don't want to blow up for someone. Cut that out. So. Okay, <clears throat> and uh, let's see. One thing your fans, that you want your fans to know that they probably don't. That we're, we're real people. I mean, well, you know, that's kind of vague. We're real people. We don't, <clears throat> you know, we may, you know, look all dandy and stuff on the record covers and everything, but. You know, it's like I, I drive an old beat up Honda with a side bash down. Did you and get just, a Saturn? <clears throat> it's on the way. So there's a drag. I'm, I haven't been home long enough to, to get that together. So I can't deal with it. They can still have my deposit checks. So hopefully I'll get one. 
But uh, I mean, it's like I live in a, I live in a town house, like style apartment. I don't have a big mansion. You know, we're not rich. We're far from it. You know, we make a living doing this, which is which is nice. We're one of the few that can do that. So I, I think people, when they put us on a pedestal, I mean, I hope you admire us because of, of our walk and our music, not because you think we're superhuman, because we're definitely not. You know, and everything. Just just know that <clears throat> just when people are in the media, you know, sorry Janice, but magazines and CDs and stuff make people just seem superhuman. And the fact is, you know, Mike Mike's a person with faults. And you know, guardians people with faults and everything. And I think when people accept that and realize, you know, hey, we're not, you know, I don't mind being your hero, but if you're gonna follow an example, follow follow Jesus' example, because I'll let you down. You know, people will always let you down, but Christ will always stay the same. I mean, he, he can't let you down. It can't happen. So just you know, I don't I don't just be walk that fine line. Except if you want to make a Christian band any or anybody a hero, that's fine. But just don't treat him as superhuman. Don't I, don't, I idolize him, I should say. But people were real. Sorry, you know. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. And to close this up, uh, tour plans for the future. Are you going to be uh, headlining? Uh, yeah, we 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 wanted to do something in the, in the spring. I don't know if it'll work out. As, as of right now, it's not going to work out for the cost. But we'd like to do something like this again, where we uh, you know play with a little bit of different band. We want to go out with Pray for Rain, PFR, and Audio Adrenaline. Mm -hmm. So. You know, I don't know. I mean, I'd love to. I personally love to pop up on the next DC Talk or Michael W. Smith tour. I don't know if we're a little too intense for that audience yet. But at the same time, with this new record and stuff, we could pull certain songs and, and be compatible. You know, so we don't know. As right now, what we're going to do in January, we're going to do a Spanish record. Really? Yeah. You didn't know how to tell you that? No. We're going to we're going to take uh, ten songs from the last three records, just probably more of our, our mellower songs and stuff like that for that Latin market. And you speak uh, Spanish? not at all. I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna have a guy. Come, I don't Taco Bell, it's not really, <clears throat> but we're gonna have a guy come in and just work work through the songs with me, kind of like Petra did, mm -hmm. and uh, that'll be out pretty soon. Which, if anything, if you don't understand the words, you're gonna get remix Guardian songs because we're gonna have to go back and remix them, so they're gonna sound you know yeah. a little different. Yeah. And uh, then in February, as of right now, in February we're supposed to start a brand new record, which will uh, you know it's not gonna be another acoustic record. We're not, we're not gonna repeat ourselves ever. You know we we try not to. And so, so I've got. I've got probably more songs than I've ever written in my life right now. And uh, Tony's got some cool ones. I know Dave's got some cool ones. I, I don't know what Carl's got up his sleeve, but I'm sure he usually comes to the table with one or two. So if not, uh, by the way, Taco Bell, if you're if you're listening to this or reading this, you got to sponsor this guy. He's keeping you in business. Yeah, no. Actually, I'm, I'm cutting down quite a bit today. For some reason, I want a burrito, but I need Taco Bell. I was going to get you one to surprise you, but then I seen that you're catering, <coughs> catering the food. The catering was good. Was it? Yeah, it was good. Chicken. And, uh, I'll let Jamie make the formal announcement. I don't know if the media is on to this yet. Coming in February. Oh yeah, actually they're on. <laughs> yeah. What's that? The people in Mar I'm going to have a baby boy the second week of February, which I'm excited. His name is Christian. I've never met him, but I'm really crazy about him, so well, it's very cool. But <coughs> yeah, the more people are going around with that pretty soon. <laughs> are they? Yeah. They're going to put that in there. Probably. 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 Cool. Well, that's pretty much it. Any party <coughs> comments? Um, Anything to say to all those guardian guard Thanks. dogs out there? Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. If it wasn't for people that are in the band, I couldn't be, I couldn't come up to Green Bay, Wisconsin. It's about time, by yeah. the way. Good crowd. Good deal. And they'll come up again. What's up?